Hi, this is I'm Not Julia Child. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to make a rice and lamb dish from Iran. It is basically the busy man or busy woman's biryani. So what you need for this dish is lamb, rice, some green lentils, and these lentils don't actually look green, they look yellow, onions, saffron, and of course with anything from Iran, you'll need dried fruits. So now let's head off to the kitchen to prepare the lamb and the onions and cook the rice so that we'll have a brilliant dish later on in the show. Okay, so now let's prepare the lamb. First we need to fry the onions and I like to use a little bit of butter. Actually, I like to use a lot of butter to make everything taste so much better. Just melt it down and just to stop the butter from burning too quickly, add a bit of olive oil. So when you hear the butter sizzling, you'll know it's time that you can add the onions. Just stir the onions around and you want the onions to reduce a little bit, weep a little bit and colour a little bit. So it's time to put in your lamb. Just put a bit at a time so you can brown everything nicely. And I like to add the saffron at this point. Just crush it and sprinkle it over. So just adding some pepper for a bit more flavor. Lamb's reduced in size. At this point you can just add the water and you can just let the lamb simmer until it gets a little bit more tender. It should take you about 20 to 30 minutes. And you put a cover on it. So now we've come to the part where we assemble the rice and lamb dish. So what we have here is the rice, which has been sort of half cooked, the lamb, fully cooked, the lentils, fully cooked. And on this side, you'll see black cherry jam and yogurt. That's what this dish is usually served with in Iran. So let's begin assembling. So we begin by coating the base of the pan with some melted butter. This will give the rice a nice crust when it's cooking. It's a favorite in Iran. So we add the rice to the bottom. And add the meat. Be generous with the meat because you're feeding families. And then finally, the lentils. I like to just sprinkle that over. So that's what it looks like, the first layer. And then we do the rice again. Level everything. And the meat, I'm gonna use all the meat that's left now. Then the lentils. And then finally, the top layer of rice. And the final thing is the melted butter. Just pour it over. So this goes back to the stove top for another 20 minutes or so. You'll know it's ready when it starts to steam. Now that the rice and lamb have been on the stove top for the last 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. Now you need to have to dig deep to get into the, all the goodness that there is. So the first one usually makes a real mess. So be careful. Put it on the plate. I like to serve this with a bit of salad. Adds a bit of color to everything. Just a simple tomato and cucumber salad. And the style of the Persians, some black cherry jam, which I know everyone thinks is very odd, but it does work. And of course, yogurt. So 
So there it is. Rice and lamb, Iranian style. This is not Julia Charles saying goodbye and bon appetit.